Process number 10 is shape. Shape is the ability to recognize patterns and conceptualize meaning. Symptoms of difficulty with the process of shape include low reading comprehension and problems understanding math concepts. The brain processes thousands of bits and pieces of information every second of every day. The ability of the brain to process these bits and pieces of information, recognize patterns within the information, and form concepts is critical to making appropriate choices and or responses. If the student doesn't recognize patterns, he will struggle with behavior problems and with education in general. First, if the student doesn't recognize appropriate patterns of behavior, he will struggle to understand the structure of his environment. He will also have difficulty learning from past experiences as he will not connect adverse consequences to certain types of behavior. The process of shape also helps us put bits and pieces of information together to form concepts. For example, good math students know more than how to go through the steps to get the correct answer. They understand why it is the correct answer and can duplicate the process in similar problems. They can also apply these math concepts to real life situations. The following exercise can be used to assess the process of shape. This assessment is for ages 10 through adults. Choose a short paragraph from a story or book that the student can easily read and understand. Five or six sentences would be appropriate for younger students. Make sure the main idea is easily identifiable in the material. After the paragraph has been read, ask the student to identify the main idea in the material. The following is an example. The human is the only animal that laughs. Why is this true? What makes us respond as we do to pleasurable experiences? What is the history of this happy convulsion, as someone once termed it, and just what is its function? We are not short of theories to explain the mystery. For centuries, biologists, psychologists, and medical doctors have sought a definitive explanation of laughter. One writer theorized that its function is to intimidate others or to gain stature over them by humiliating them. A psychologist offered the explanation that laughter functions as a remedy for painful experiences, and that it serves to defend a person against what the psychologist termed the many minor pains to which man is exposed. Can you tell me the main idea in that paragraph? The paragraph talks about different theories of why humans laugh. Really? The inability of the student to identify the main idea in the material read is a strong indication that the student has difficulty with the process of shape. The student should easily be able to identify the main idea in the material read. I would like to add a note. It is extremely important that you choose material that the student can easily read for this exercise.